annoying stupidity. Stupid. I don't know. I have a concussion. and today we are doing a very fun book scavenger hunt with a lot of friends so we're going to explain how this works but first i want to introduce you to the players hello we're the reigning champs whoa, whoa, goats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. because we're goats you know greatest of all time me too all right we're team sugar daddy <laughs> agree on this? i'm jayla from all loves lit and i'm christine from the ruby's digest and i don't know about reigning champs but yeah i think that's a little hmm, stretch. i'm psychic as well so. place your bets <laughs> now <so> <laughs> Place your bets in the comments right now on who you think is going to win. If it's the Billy Goats? We're the Billy Goats. Yeah. Or the Sugar Daddies. I'm not sure. All right. Anyway, place your bets now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have these two teams face off against each other. I have a collection of different prompts, and I want them to pick that book, bring it to me, and justify their answers first. And whoever does that will get the point for their team. So we have uh, 14 prompts all together. So we're going to have uh, quite a few rounds, and we'll see who wins. So, hey. uh, <laughs> to notify the host that we have achieved success with the goal of the prompt, whatever, we will make a sound. Our sound for Team Sugar Daddies will be ka -ching. <laughs> No. <laughs> ka -ching. And bye. Perfect. Wait, yours is too short. Steph and Jayla face off against each other first. So, <laughs> wow, we are getting serious about this. Okay. So... <laughs> Team Billy Goat and Team Sugar Daddy, are you ready? Yes. All right. Jing. Prompt number one. Give me a book whose title is five syllables. Five syllables. Oh, did I have to do that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Kuching. The Keeper of Night. Okay. I was reading it wrong. Prompt number two. Give me a book where the author's name is larger than the title of the book. Kuching. Let me see it. Junji Ita? Uzumaki? I don't. No. no Uzumaki is not his name. <laughs> Keep going, run! Ali Hazelwood? No! <laughs> that is his not true. You can't the just. The name is larger on the cover for Z. Mm. Oh, larger. Bigger than the title. Oh. Jeremy, blah, 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 the loop. Could change. No. The loop is gigantic. <laughs> Where is his name? Oh, oh you mean bigger. physically. <laughs> Does this count? Bah! Those, those are kind of the same thing, size. Right? I, I don't know. Same. Those are kind of the same too. No. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ah! Okay. Harlan Cohen. Ah! No way. Ah! Alright. Who's this talent? Not me. I'm just like, I've gone up here too many times. It's embarrassing. You <laughs> have this shoved in here. One second. Ah! Alright. Oh. Round two for Steph versus Jayla. So. Our next prompt, give me a book that has seven or more vowels no, in the title. <laughs> seven or more, right? The inheritance of Wolfgang. Bah. 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 Yeah, you know, I can't even count it. Yeah, uh-huh. Roomies, I want you to give me a book whose page count is closest to the number 389. <laughs> what are you switch? Avoid Sarah Oh, I can just pick up one? Ka-ching. All right. What have we got? Oh, you have to pick up. Oh, and compare. Bah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> do we do it at the same time? Which well, see who's closer? well, just tell me who's yeah. closer. 381. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> 364. Ah, okay. The Boz have it. What are we on? Boz? This is number three? Around this is three. number five. Five X. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you give us it's another math question? Well, no. Wait, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Steph versus Jayla, I would like you to find me a book whose title is similar to the the classic A Blank of Blank and Blank. Oh, Wait, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they not here? Wait, wait. The Inheritance of <laughs> The Keeper of the Night? That is not the same thing. No. no. The Keeper of the, the Night. A flicker in the dark. You can't, it's not a syllable thing. They dance with dragons. That's not even close. Does like children of blood and bone count? I would say that counts. Yeah. No! Uh, <laughs> I know I hated that. I was like, Taylor's right there. She's not even looking uh, at it. Uh, Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, like in, in the dark. <laughs> Dance with corn, bro. This is not the syllable one. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I was like, oh, you all Yeah, they were right there. I was, I was like, shockingly, like, they're on my shelf. I hate to be that way. Roomies, please yeah. give me a book that you would recommend to Goblin. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, this is a big deal! <laughs> Um, okay. Um, I, I want a justification. Are, are you ready, Ba? Ba, yes. Okay. <laughs> ba, yes, Ba. You want to go first? No, please go for it. Okay. The Hollow Gods. I am recommending this book because Goblin is, in fact, a hollow god. And much like the main character, we can see that they both disappear and have similar powers. But the real question is, and why he would enjoy this book, what happens in the end? Yes, God. How does your story end, sir? Do you, in fact, stay a hollow god, or do you graduate to the next book in the series? Wow. Read this book to find out. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm sold. Um, I went a different route. I was more thinking about what would interest him the most. And he's lived on Earth. For a very, this very... This isn't a rebuttal to mine. This <laughs> is long time. your own. <laughs> He's been on there for centuries, you know? So I'm thinking he would enjoy a nice space drama, a space odyssey so well. So this is called Leviathan Wakes. It's a space opera. It's a great time slot. Politics, backstabbing, you know? Something to really get him hooked. And it looks, it looks like you're an intellectual. He likes to really hold books and <laughs> Like the pink would really stand out as an accessory, especially this collector's edition. Well, this is perfect for him, and that is the reasoning. Wow, I I like both your explanations, but I think I am going to give it to Kaching because they were first. That is fair. That is fair. But is fair. good job. But okay. Are you ready? No. All right. <laughs> Please find me a book that has a verb in the title. Ah, descend. Oh, Kaching. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you do. Roomies, please give me a book that has a number in the title. <laughs> please find me a book that you would be embarrassed to read in public. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's your what's your explanation? Yeah. Shirtless man, shirtless man, uh -huh. and my brand don't go together. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Mine has backstory. Okay. What's your backstory? Didn't get it first. No, you should wait. I, I just really I want to hear it. Book. This was a book that was given to me by a very very Christian man. This is redeeming love by someone. And I, I met this person in college. They had a little crush on me. You know. You know. I'm perfect. But not perfect enough in the sense that I wasn't holy enough. I wasn't godly enough as a woman. And I needed to strengthen my faith. And so he recommended that I read Redeeming Love. I remember this. Yes. And I haven't yet, and I never will. But I would be embarrassed to bring this out because it's a very, no offense, no offense to the faithful, it's very Christian. It's like, it's a little Amish romancy in a way that I would never take out. So Amish. I know it's not Amish, but whatever word I'm looking for. For sure, more. like Christian smut. Christian smut. No. I'm gonna say you should give it to her because I. Well, I already I just, gave it to Bob, but thank you for the oh, story. I just you know what? Like, cut that all out. Cut it out. <laughs> Please find me a book that you and your opponent disagree on. Oh, that's easy. Oh my God. <laughs> box out. Box that's out. Box out. Box out. Box out. What's your explanation? I hate this one. <laughs> Even though you gave it a three? Yes. Ooh, call out culture. Ooh. You gave it a five. It's literally we disagree. Christine, what's your book? Front of Glass. I've never read that book. Exactly. My case rests. But you never will because you don't like Sarah Jane Moss, right? Mm -hmm. I'm reading, no, I'm reading, uh... She doesn't like... Blood. 
high fantasy, but she will read House of Earth and Blood. And on this, we are a house divided because I have. It's not a house divided. divided. Actually, divided. wanted her. It is. You were. You're literally dissenting right now. No, I just have seen her sway, <laughs> so and I'm like, I go for another twenty. Minutes. This is your favorite book, and it's not mine. All it's right, favorite well, book. You got. This that was one. really funny. So I'm just gonna give it to both of them. <laughs> she wants us to fight again. Well. Christine, keep way. doing what you're doing. I thought you were going for the book. No, bus. I couldn't move. I was like, ah! Steph and Jayla, give me a book that you would recommend to the last person you texted. Who's the last person I texted? I, oh, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Why? The last person I texted was the guy who... Why are you still in contact with him? Stop. Why are you still responding? He asked me to go to his game tomorrow, and I said I'm in LA. So Why did you say that? flying out. That's what you're no, he's in your group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Ba has got two more points than Kaching. We do? Yes. Oh. It's because I cheated when I was. Because I threw Chris across. Well, don't say that. Roomies, please find me a book that has a hot author photo. She ran away. Gotcha! Why did you do this? Gotcha! This can't be purely subjective, but no. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. Anyway. A hot author photo? Yeah, he's very good looking. You gave up. Sarah Jameis. Tony Adeyemi. All those people were Alex. I Bet. couldn't think of a photograph. But this is a beautiful picture really of a stoic, white haired man. <laughs> Ooh, rest in peace. You would get with Alex Trebek? Hey. No, I would not. <laughs> but if if he asked me out, I would be honored. He was good looking in the 70s. And it is now 2022. Well, mine is a classic cult favorite. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this uh, title of indie author cult. Can we, can we get a little close-up of uh, the man? Pierce Brown. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're on a very intimate, close uh, first name basis. How should I get pierced? <clears throat> How should I get pierced? And, um... He's yes, he's, he's he's quite beautiful to me. I I, I feel like I just I can't agree with Alex Trebek. No, no, because I just don't I find both. him. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to I'm yes. gonna give it to Kachin. I knew as soon as she ran, I was like, I got you. Find me a book that you would recommend to your boss. Oh, <laughs> Oh, bah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what's your answer, Kaching? Uh, N.K. Jemison's How Long Till Black Future Month. He is a sci-fi and fantasy and horror editor. This has a lot of sci-fi and fantasy in it. I know he already knows who N.K. Jemison is, so he would be probably into this. If he hasn't already read it himself. Steph, what's your reasoning? Um, this is Laura Olympics, and it's because... Did you say uh, Laura Olympics? I don't know. What is it? Olympus. Olympus, yeah. haven't read it, but here's the thing. It's a graphic novel, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And my boss is really busy, always in meetings, always doing stuff, but wants to be a reader because she's a library director. So I wants would recommend, <laughs> once she doesn't have time, Ugh. so you recommend a graphic novel because you that. can speed through it. And That's you're like, right. I read, I'm literate, I'm a library director, and now I have <laughs> a little bit of time I can see this whole explanation novel. happening as it's coming out of your brain yeah. and directly out of your mouth, like, as you're I talking. I we both deserved a point, even though you didn't know it was a graphic novel. You were not sure. I'm gonna give this one to Kuching. <laughs> you are now even. Oh, you can see. Not me trying to give us both the point. Rumi's, this is the tiebreaker and the last round. Okay. The last hurrah. Yeah. How, are, how are we feeling right now? Who do we think is gonna win? I would like to say Bob's gonna take it, but I can't be certain. You know, the last two rounds... Just it is hard, yeah. Because if she's going down the hallway, it's over. All right, what um, about you, Steph, Steph and Jayla? What, what do you think is going to happen? I think since it's Mo's birthday, Christine's going to go soft. I know she, she won't. better not. So. <laughs> she <laughs> will not. To say. Only time would do. <laughs> I feel like it's anybody's game here. It's anyone's game. Okay, get your head in the game. Okay. Anybody's game. You're right. Anybody's game. Black <laughs> last round i want you to this bring me a book one. whose title describes you Ooh. 
pitching. Ooh. All right. Damn. All right, well, no, explain, no. explain. Yeah, I need to hear both of these. No. Explain, no. explain. No. No. She just straight up gave no. up. Why would she care? Mo, what's your explanation? It doesn't matter. What do you mean? You, neither of you chose adjectives, which I find very interesting. It's fine. It's done. Go ahead. <laughs> Go on. Okay. I'll give you the sun. I feel like in um, pretty much my everyday life, I like to uplift others and make other people feel good and pretty much support people in any way, shape, or form that I can. Um, so when I saw the title of this book, it made me think I'll give you the sun because if I could, I would give people the sun. I would give them joy and happiness and everything forever and it sounds a little cheesy and i'm saying it out loud but uh it's, it's definitely true. true yeah so all right mo what was your book sweet and simple my book was the road trip i can do mo's yeah oh twins. i just like road trips monique likes to travel <laughs> and she likes to do road trips yeah. and she likes to go try new things because her little gemini moon has a little hankering to do so and she likes to go to new countries and learn new languages and it all folds under the blanket of the road trip which is conveniently put into her favorite genre a romance book wow. well that's well, a really good explanation for the book too. can well, i do so. a book that describes both of them sure oh god delicious <laughs> Okay, so with that, that concludes our game, and the winner is Kaching! Kaching! Thank you for playing, everybody, um, including the loser. Thank but you thank trying. you so much. Oh, she really came in. Thank you so much for playing and for watching. Definitely go subscribe to everybody here. And actually, everybody has a really fun video on their channel where we all collaborated. So if you want to see more of this kind of fun, vicious energy, please go and subscribe to everybody there. Comment, like, do all that good stuff. And uh, one last time, that is Steph and Stephanie Bookish, Christina Mo from the Roomies Digest, and Jamie from the Lit. And this has been Let Me in the Library. We'll see you next time. Bye.